Step 8. Using cPanel. Brainhost's personal web builder also gives users the option to access cPanel. cPanel is a web-based program that you can use to manage your website. Keep in mind that if you are new to owning a website or don't have much experience, it will probably be easier for you to manage your website from the personal web builder instead of using cPanel. Begin by logging into the personal web builder and clicking on cPanel for advanced users, which is right here. Now, if you're new to this, you have a getting started guide here. We highly recommend you watch that. But for this purposes, we're going to go ahead and turn that off. cPanel is going to look something like this. In cPanel, you can handle many of the administrative tasks for your website. We won't go over the specifics on how to perform these tasks in this tutorial, but we will highlight some of the things you can do in cPanel. Changing your cPanel password. To change your cPanel password, click on Change Password in the Preferences box, which is right here. Creating email accounts for your website. To create email accounts for your website, for example, your name at yourwebsite.com, click on Email Accounts in the mailbox, which is right here. Checking your email accounts. To check your email accounts that you create for your website, click on Webmail in the mailbox, which is right here. Adding a subdomain to your website. To add a subdomain to your website, go ahead and scroll on down here to the domain section and click on subdomains, which is right here in the domains box. Backing up your website. To back up your website, go ahead and scroll back up here to the file section and click on the backup wizard, which is right here. Uploading and managing your website files. To upload new files to your website or manage the files that are already there, click on legacy file manager in the files box, which is right here. Note, do not delete any files unless you know exactly what they are. Deleting important files by mistake can break your website. These are just some of the many things you can do in cPanel. Spend some time exploring your cPanel and learning the various ways you can manage your website. And if you find cPanel difficult or confusing, remember, you can always exit out and go back to the web builder.